welcome to May the 4th, the Star Wars themed fusion class. So we're going to go through battles, we're going to go through challenges together. And just like the Jedi, we have to start without equipment first before we can actually hold our sabers. So let's just soften the knees and sweep the arms up and around. Just nice big sweeps and softening into the knees, reaching up and around, creating space around you. Keep smacking my bush over there. <laughs> Reach up two more. And then reach all the way up to the sky and then pull on the rope. You're pulling the skies down to you. The stars are coming to you. Pull down, pulling down through the armpits and moving through your ribs. Now we reach, adding a tap, bringing it all the way across, turning this more into Star Wars aerobics. Reach up and across, lean and tap. Lean and tap. Adding a little mini dip. And now take the arms from reaching up and over to reaching across. <sighs> reaching across, stepping into the ground, and then pressing up and away from it. <sighs> Becoming limber in the body so that our mind can channel the force. Three, two, one, now reach down and tap the front of your shin. Lean and tap, bring that hand in front. Four, three, two, and bring the feet forward. March, every soldier, every Jedi has to go on this walkabout, on this journey, so marching is a theme along with a bunch of other stuff. Turn this into a tap, step, tap, step. Pulling the front of the knees up. Now taking it across. Still pulling the knee up nice and high, pulling up through those hip flexors. Five, four, three, Two, and step it down, right leg down, left leg, using the force, levitate your left leg. <laughs> and then allowing the force to make your leg move. <laughs> Squeezing up and down. Four, three, two, and release, come down. And we soften the knees and we swing the arms. Just like a Jedi warrior, before he becomes a Jedi, he has to get rid of baggage, of stress, of tension. So this is your chance to pretend that you're throwing it to the ground. Two more. And last one. Rise up, left foot, using the power of the mind. Levitate your right leg. <laughs> and then from here, creating a little pulse. Using nothing but your mind to levitate. <laughs> Channeling the force from within. <laughs> and five, four, three, two. And let's release that leg down. Fix our pants because, you know, the Jedi force is only so strong it cannot defeat the yoga pants. <laughs> so that's just warming us up. As you can tell by my comments, we're going to be very Star Wars themed. So we're going to heel stomp forward, but we're adding a hand push. So the idea is we've got some enemies coming our way and we're going to push them away with the force out of our hands. Now take the hands out to the side and still heel it across. Healing it across, pushing that energy out, keeping our enemies at bay. And four, three, two, and let's go ahead 
ahead, bring our heel to bum, because who else has some powerful body, mind, force, power, superpowers? Jane Fonda, yes she does. So, heel to bum. Waking everything up. Everything gets a chance to kind of loosen up and we're building a little bit momentum. Now add a little squat and reach the arms, kick it back. Five, four, three, two, and bring it in, step it, march it. Turn the march into heel hip march, moving the hips left to right. Every hero has to run for his life at some point in order to learn when he stands up for his life. Four. This is where we're doing our running to. And lean and tap. This is going to escalate into kicks. So from this lean and tap, we're going to kick it to the side. Fighting our way through the trenches, kicking all the baddies out of the way, but staying focused on the center, staying focused on our mission. And four, three, two, and march. Now it's gonna be the right leg only. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, toe, heel, toe, heel. Just the right. This is us becoming sneaky, slippery rebels in the woods. We're bringing our toes into the danger and bringing it back, little sneak attacks. Last one, stay out. Point the toes away, bend into the knees. Arms come along, it's a brief moment of yoga, but you're Practicing your first movement without your saber. Take that left hand. Sweep across the line of enemy and around. Inhale, reach. Last one. And then we just push and step it back. And then before we switch sides, we get to be silly. Moving the hips. Because don't forget, what else did Star Wars have? Princess Leia. And that epic bikini outfit. <laughs> which I would never ever want to wear. <laughs> but it gives us a little some curves. Now, bring your right foot down, left foot. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, and away. And start to focus on your balance, your stability. How smooth can you make this? Last one out, we're going to stay. Point the toes away, we pulse a few times. And another practice run with our saver where we reach the arms nice and long and you hold your saver with your right hand. We sweep it across and around and back. Whip it around and back. One more time. And push up, step in, and now channeling a little bit more of the Princess Leia vibes, but don't, she was fierce. This is the distraction. Turn this into a twist. After this, we're gonna grab our handheld weights. So bear that in mind wherever you are. Give me some floppy wobbly feet, knees, ankles. Just a little shake out. Now to build our strength, we don't just go straight for the lightsaber. We gotta lift some smaller things. We gotta kind of play with what our grip is like, so grab your small handheld weights before you grab your lightsaber. <laughs> We're gonna start with a little forward lean, not bending, just a little forward lean, and we're gonna take the right arm to the side, and then left, right, left. Purposefully taking turns. I know what my body wants to do, it just wants to swing, but it's one at a time using those back of the shoulder blades to trigger the lift. Four, three, two, 
And now levitate both arms to the side and stand up nice and tall. Palms up and back. Palms up and back. You can go for your march. Palms up and back. Building our strength. This is now where we're overcoming resistance. This is where we build resilience to become the rebels that we are. Five, four, three, two. Bring those arms down, right hand forward, left arm up to the side, and we switch. Nice and steady. Find the dynamic in the movement here versus the just dropping. You're pushing it down. Five, four, three, two, and let's bring it in. Palms up, elbows tucked in, squeezing out to the side. Getting a few of these in so that we can create expansion and chest lift, not twerking. Not that kind of Star Wars. <laughs> Keeping those elbows tucked in nice and close. Stay with me a little longer for five, four, three, two, and let's go ahead and we're going to not release the weights. We're gonna do a little movement. First, I gotta fix my pants. So often when we do these side bends, I tell you not to move the hips, but today we do. Bend your right knee, lift up the right heel. Right hand is gonna push down and the left hand is gonna push up, but instead of holding steady, I'm gonna let you push the hips to the side. <sighs> Inhale, exhale it up. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Think about what your ankles are doing for support, your knees, and the stretch in your hips, using those oblique to come back up. Four. Three, two, and one. Now before we switch sides, lock and load. Lock and load wiggles. Straight arms, straight legs, lock and load twists. And it's straight arms. And five, four, three, two, bend that left knee. Left hand is gonna reach down, left arm up and over, and we're gonna soften the knees enough that we can bend into our hip. Pushing our hip to the right. It's a exhale to pull everything back up through center. Staying off the heel on the left side. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Now we're gonna go for, now before a Jedi really hones his skill with the fine skill of the saber, he's gonna try something a little bit heavier and bulkier. So grab your kettlebell. <laughs> so <laughs> what that means is we learn how to lift the heavy weight before we refine it which means some of our movements are gonna be the same. Hold on to your kettlebell in front of your heart, grab it by the horns. Don't let it rest on your chest, have it hovering out in front of your body. And right now we're just going to do small lunge back steps. Just little steps back and you can really just stay here or adding that little dip. Two more. And now, instead of stepping back, it's forward step. Forward and back. Forward and back. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now, don't drop the kettlebell, but Drop the arms down, holding on the kettlebell. We're now gonna do our side step, which is a side lunge. Right leg, up and across and lean. Bring it in. Left leg, and bring it back. Right and back. 
What we're not doing is bending forward. Nice tall chest. Don't show your enemy your backside. <laughs> Stay nice and tall. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now, do you guys remember the scene in Star Wars where it's like snow everywhere and there's all these different machines and they're like throwing stuff at each other. Start, time to throw stuff at your enemy. Just don't actually let go. Swings, tilt from the hips, swing back, press forward. Bring your hands to shoulder height. Just tilting from the hips and back. Using exhales to help with this thrust of the hips. Think of the thrusters of a starship. That's how powerful you are. Four, three, two, and one. Come up, left leg is gonna go back just a little. Straight leg deadlifts. Inhale, exhale. Don't worry about how low you go. Just keeping a nice, strong, flat back. Inhale, exhale. Three, two, and one. Step, switch. Right leg back. There's just a little step. And we lean and we lift up. That standing leg, you can soften the knees a little to accommodate tight hamstrings but you're not doing a full-on squat with it either. Don't worry about how low you go. Remember, you can just come a little ways, but focus on that thrust through the glutes. And four, three, two, and one. Woo, perfect timing. Okay, how are we doing? I'm, I'm, I'm warm and sweaty. So, time to grab your saber. <laughs> so we are going to start, and now if you've got an end, it looks like both of you have a mop. Your mop end is my globe end, so keep that in mind, okay? So we are going to, right leg to the right, and we're going to push down with the glow, with the heavy part. Bring it up. Bring it to the top. Slide your bottom hand up. Slide it across. And we switch. Swing and just give it a good old bat. Step and switch. Looking good, strong, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, so whatever end, remember this is your heavy end. Switching grip, so both hands are down. We're gonna take the heavy end behind our hip. So if the end is in my left hand, it's going to my left hip. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do an uppercut. Nice and strong. And all we're doing is bending, pulling forward and going, jam that heavy end up someone's nose. And then pull it back. Push up and back. So front view, here I am. And now if this feels easy and fun, wanna make it a little harder, yes? I think so. So make sure you got space. I'm going to step forward with my opposite leg. So my right leg comes forward and I'm going to uppercut with a lunge. Pull it back. Step uppercut and bring it back. And we'll just do two or three more of this. And if you don't want to do the lunge variation, you don't have to. Now, Switching sides could be as easily as just pivoting or 
you can do a sword sweep and swing, <laughs> depending on how big your lightsaber is. So now it's behind the right hip, uppercut only, and back. Pushing up, pulling those elbows closer to the ribs. Two more, and then we add the lunge step if you want, which means I step forward with my left leg and I punch up, step back. Left leg. And if you don't want to do a lunge, you can just do a step even. Two more. And last one. Okay. So, switch over to the other hand again. So now it's your left hand holding the heavy side. This is where, make sure you've got space because you might have a different length. So I'm gonna come to my side here so I've got space. I'm gonna start off with it just underneath my chin. My left foot is gonna stay. My right foot here is gonna move. And I'm gonna go for a curtsy lunge. We've done these before, but when I go curtsy lunge, I'm jamming my heavy weight towards my heel. It's like a block. Bring it up and curtsy. Bring it back, curtsy. One more. Bring it in, switch sides. Holding it up, jamming it down. Bring it back. Jam it down, bring it back. Find that curtsy lunge. This is more about a block. Three, two, and one. Now, how would it feel if we kept taking turns? Well, we pivot, we bring our weight over, we drop. Come back up, and as you come back up, you're switching and stepping. You can slow it down, make it smaller, or bigger. <laughs> Let's do one more each side. Last one. Whew. How are those feeling? <laughs> Let's bring our um, saber to the ground. We'll grab it again when we get to the floor. We're gonna make our way to the floor, but first, shake everything out. So we've had our first lesson with Master Yoda. We've moved our sabers. We've learned how to move with it, around it, through it. But now our body needs to reset. We need to shake out old habits, old patterns that don't do us any good. So walk with the hips. Give me a little Princess Leia bikini dance hips. Now give me some nice big circles. Forward, around, and back. Three, two, and reverse. Going the other way. Two more, and bring it in. Heels in, toes out. Just a little TikTok. We're gonna make our way to the floor. Give me a little hippie bounce, bending of the knees. This is where we have a fun celebration. We've won our first battle. But we know there's never just the one battle, right? There's more to come. So let's bring it down. Come as low as you can for just a moment in a yogic squat. For today, I might call it just the Jedi squat, but that sounds really awkward. <laughs> just take a few deep breaths here. Three, two, and release. Come all the way onto the ground. We're gonna walk on the moon, forward and back. Make sure you lift up your bum enough. Just walking on the moon to get us kind of used to being back on the ground. 
and now we're going to come somewhere in the middle. We're going to roll back onto our back, and I'm going a little higher than normal because I need to reach my lightsaber. So holding onto your lightsaber with the heavy side in your left hand. The hands are across, almost like you're doing a bench press. Now take your arms straight up and over, nice hover, so that we're engaging the ribs. Now on the exhale, hug those ribs down, hug the belly button down, and lift up the legs into your tabletop. And now can you, without moving hardly anything else, shift your lightsaber so that the heavy portion is on the other side without knocking any furniture over. Woo and notice, how does it feel? Did I brought my hands up, I didn't realize that. I need to take them back up overhead. Don't forget to breathe. And five, four, three, two, and release. Now, hands come back up over your shoulders. Narrow your grip so that your wrists are indeed over your shoulders. And we're gonna exhale just a little curl up from the shoulder blades. Exhale, curl up just the shoulder blades. And let's take a moment, switch the heavy weight to the other side again, and press it up to the sky. Three, two, and one. Now, if you can, this is a chance to work your core. We're gonna rock forward and back till we come to seated, pushing our arms all the way up overhead. Once at the top here, we're going to lean back just a little and then just a little lean to the left and bring it back. Little lean to the right and bring it back. Oh, I find these challenging. One more each side. And then last one. Let's bring this sucker down. We're gonna bring it close to our mat. We're gonna have it on our left side. I need to fix my pants. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a plank with a pivot into a side plank using our lightsabers. So, pushing into my weight, coming into a plank, pivoting my heels, and reaching, dropping it down. We're doing five each side. Always come back to neutral if you can. You could do this on your knee. When you've done five on the one side, just take your saber to the other side and do five there. When you've done the five, take your weight out of the way so that you don't you know, damage yourself mainly. <laughs> and we're gonna come onto our forearms we're going to just stretch back. No hard stuff right now, we're taking a rest. We're, we're checking the battlefield, we're making some plans. We are conserving our energy. We're gonna come forward all the way onto our belly. And I want us to think about our limbs expanding the force, which means we're gonna take the arms out like a big starfish and the legs out like a big starfish. And we're gonna exhale, and the force is gonna help us levitate the arms and the thighs. And relax. Levitate, and release down. Focusing, of course, on the muscles and the glutes along your backside. Two more. And last one. Bring the hands underneath your chin. 
Bring your legs a little closer. Give your hips a little rock side to side. And then just a quick flutter kick, straight leg flutter kick like you're swimming. And four, three, two, and release. Pull the hands underneath your shoulders. Up and over for a full child's pose, a nice stretch. Always find those moments where you can take really deep breaths in and exhale to release tension. And if you ever need to make a wookie noise, then go for it. <laughs> we are going to make our way now into hands and knees for just a moment. Round your spine all the way, look towards your knees. Inhale, relax the belly and look up to the sky. Just a little spinal movement here. Draw the navel in, rounding through. And last one, we're gonna look up to the sky. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the right leg straight back. And we're gonna exhale, squeeze up to just hip height without arching into the back. Using our breath, but we're gonna add a little extra in. I'm gonna face you guys so you can see with the leg going up and back. You can't see it yet, but I'm gonna hold the leg and float. Just float it out to the side, but I'm not moving my ribs. So I'm here, here, out, and center. And when I go out, I'm not shifting my hips to open out to the side, not one of these. Two more. Last one, bring it around and in front. Low lunge, pulse. Pulsing it here in a nice low lunge. Oh, my hip flexors are saying hi. <laughs> now, this isn't just any other lunge. We are gonna tuck the back toe, lift up the back knee. We're gonna pulse. Now you can stay here and pulse, or that whole Jedi mind trick, as in using your core, we're gonna lift up, we're gonna jump, and we're gonna switch which legs on top. Pulse. Jump and switch. And try to land as quietly as you can. That might be easier said than done. And you can always just step it back versus jump. Please have your left foot forward, drop the back knee down. We're gonna come up into a low lunge with the left leg forward. So we're now got the left leg forward. Now take that leg all the way back and hold the hips steady. Float the leg to the side and back, side and back. Keeping the heel at around hip height, trying not to move anything else. Four, three, two, and one. Take the toes back and just leg raises, straight up and down. Stay with me a little longer for five, four, three, two, and bring that knee in. I'll walk your hands all the way up. Fix your pants. There's no force on this planet that is gonna hold my yoga pants up. <laughs> hands to your head. If this isn't comfortable on these, you can do it sitting down or standing up. We're gonna turn and twist. So turning our root torso to the right as my left hand reaches forward, taking turns and switch. Focusing on that space between the shoulder blades. Four, three, two, and let's bring it down. Right foot to the side, bring it in. Left foot, bring it in. Right, and see if you can just get onto like a big toe. See if you can avoid having to use the whole foot for balance. Now how about we try it in front?
agile body, agile mind, our requirements of the Jedi. One more each side. Last one. We're gonna come back onto forearms and then all the way onto your belly. And from here, we're just gonna do the shoulder blades again, not the legs. We're gonna pulse up and down. Using exhales to squeeze that space between the shoulder blades. Four, three, no squeezing of the butt cheeks, yeah? A last one and release. Rock your hips left to right. Three, two, and then just for fun, kick your legs like a three-year-old would. Just up and down, little floppy leg kicks, side to side, up and down, over and under, crossing them over maybe even. Staying with this for five, four, three, two, Release those toes down. Hands come underneath your shoulders, elbows tuck in. Staying on your knees, push the ground away. Come up into a kneeling plank. Okay. Now we're gonna drop the left forearm down and then the right. And we are staying here for a while. But this is our plank challenge. So it ultimately means if you wanna come up off the knees, if you want to add a little wiggle, if you want a little rock forward and back, if you want to get off your forearms onto your hands, you can go for walking the plank, mountain climbers, back on your knees. If you want, I'll give you even a side plank today. If you want to go for side plank, just stay in any type of plank till I tell you otherwise. This is mind over matter. This is, <coughs> this is how the Jedi train. They get to a point where they're not even tired anymore. <coughs> and when they're not choking on their own hair. Find your plank. If you're back on your knees and forearms, see if you can go isometric, pull elbows towards knees. <sighs> Keep breathing. We're almost there. Don't give up on me. We got each other. Stay with it. Getting any position of a plank that you need to and just stay there as long as you can. Change, shift to accommodate, but don't give up on me. That you know this is not long. We're almost there. Almost there, and guess what? We made it. Whew. Let's come onto our bum cheeks. Whew. So, <laughs> we overcome the battle with Darth Vader planks. <laughs> we won, we were victorious. So what does it feel like in your body when you're victorious? Light, powerful, strong. So now, classical saw with the same empowerment and expansion. Right hand, left toes, bring it back. Inhale, exhale it across. Always keeping your wrists at shoulder height on the expansion here. Inhale, exhale across. And we're gonna go for doubles. That means we pulse. So reach, pulse, come back up. Reach, pulse, come back. One more each side. Last one. And we're gonna take our legs around and come onto our back. So, crazy victorious bicycles. Yes, we haven't done these in a little while. This just means you ride a bicycle, but you go really big, really small, and start to shift weight into one bum cheek, then the other going up, going low, really just going into some crazy pattern. Keep your body guessing. Get 
victorious, get big, expansion, three, two, and release those feet down. Curl up, reach your fingertips towards your heels, left hand, left heel, right hand, right heel, just a little side swivel here. And five, four, three, two, and release. Take those legs up to the sky. Pause. Check that your ribs are connected to the ground. Inhale, left leg comes down. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, the right leg comes down. Exhale, bring it up. Bring both knees in to your chest. And then let the left leg go long, hug the right knee in, a nice controlled stretch here. Really hug it in. And while we're not in the movies, we have overcome challenges in our life. And tonight is a celebration of some of that, but it's also, go ahead, switch legs. It's a chance for you to reap the rewards of your victory. You don't have to rush headlong into another battle. You can simply take the time to show gratitude to the body that allowed you to do all these things today and all the other things in your life up until now but also a moment to acknowledge that your mind is far more powerful than you give it credit for. Go ahead, bring both knees back in, one hand on each knee, circle around. And some days it feels like our enemy is constantly at the gate. Distractions, problems, one more email at work. All of those things can feel like they surround us and we have to put up defenses. But sometimes all we need is to take one step through them and see that there's nothing but open skies and opportunities on the other side. Release the feet down, knees bent, and let's sway our knees side to side. Just a nice low windshield wiper. So with each slowing breath, feel into your body more. Where is there still resistance that is waiting to be transformed into resilience? Where is the strength hidden between the stillness and the softness? Bring your knees back through to neutral, taking the right ankle on top of the left knee and just swaying left to right. And again, with your breath, feel down the length of your spine. Feel where there is balance and stability. Uncross and switch legs. Still just slowly waving side to side. And relaxing your jaw, softening that space between your eyebrows. And then pause for a moment. You can bring your hand, your right hand to your heart, left hand to your belly button. Here is the invitation. The invitation to acknowledge that the stronger our bodies become, the more capable and healthy our minds become. And when our mind can access well-being, it can access 
the universe. And so whatever struggles you might have been faced with in the last year or in your whole life, take a moment to truly acknowledge your strength, your courage, your resilience, and your incredible Jedi powers of the mind. And stay here for just a couple more breaths, giving yourself a chance to exhale all the crap and inhale all the good stuff. All the good energy that surrounds you every single day. Take a deep breath, exhale with a big sigh, and you are completed with your Star Wars May the Fourth Be With You Fusion Strong.